All right, here we go. Oh, so this is basically like a backyard made hovercraft. Yeah. <laughs> ah, bam! These are being true hovercrafts. They're using an envelope of air to lift, and they're floating on that envelope of air. But in each case, they're not propelling themselves. They're at, everybody's having to be pushed, and then nobody can steer where they want to go. I think we should be able to have a strong cushion. Yeah. We should be able to propel it in the direction we want to go, yeah. which means that we'll have to be able to steer it. If we build a robust base with an air cushion that holds us up. Everybody's using a leaf blower. That seems to be the cheapest and easiest way to do it. And then a steering capability. Yeah. Then we can drive around the neighborhood on land and water. Let's build it. Let's bang it out. So we have these couplings, Grant. These are all going to go on here. What I was thinking is, is we have to have a collection box where they all go into. The leaf blowers will yeah. fire up, yeah. and they will go into the collection box. Okay. The collection box will then gather this, uh -huh. and we'll disperse these yeah. like so. evenly throughout the curtain. And that will keep us on a level platform. Yeah. So this looks really good, Grant. So the design is that we're going to have air coming through here, 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 here. That's going to inflate all of this donut. Oh, yeah. See? It's yeah. Like cram them all in there. One, two, three. We want it all the way up. Keep pushing. All we got to do, fire these three up. We'll get lift. And then see if it's gonna hold all the weight. All right, good. Let's give it a shot. All right, so we built our own hovercraft. We've got it to steer, we've got it to hover. We're doing a lot better than the guys in the videos. But now, it's the moment of truth, the water test. Let's just start it up again. Scoot forward a little bit. You're, you're too far back. OK. Look at that. Almost there. Almost there. <laughs> oh. So we've gotten it to lift, we've gotten it to move itself, and we've gotten it to steer. I think I missed the issue that for water, because it does give, that we needed a larger deck for stability. This is what an experiment tells you. When you engineer something, there's so many variables, and oftentimes, the one that kills you is the one you don't think about. Well done. Good stuff.